Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today we're going to create a channel flipping transition like this in Premiere Pro. Okay, so we're going to go through these steps on how to build this transition, but I will also make my project available to download in the description below if you want to have a look at that as well. And let's jump straight into it. The first thing I need to do is create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to go up to my file menu and choose new adjustment layer. And you just want to make sure that matches the settings of your sequence. And then I'm going to drag this into my timeline, just round about where I want the transition to be. And then we're going to start adding some effects to this adjustment layer. So the first effect I'm going to add is the noise effect. I'll go up to my effects panel and do a search on noise. And we want the noise effect that's under noise and grain. And I'll drag that onto my adjustment layer. And then I'll go over to my effect controls and where it's added the noise effect, I want to turn the amount of noise all the way up. So I'm going to turn this up to 100%. Then I want to add some scan lines to this image. So what I'm going to do is grab the grid effect and drag that onto my adjustment layer. And if you go back over to the effect controls and select the name grid, that's going to bring up these two blue controls for the effect. I'm going to click and drag the one on the left all the way off screen. And then I'll click and drag the one on the right and pull this off screen as well. But I'm also going to pull this one up to bring all of these lines closer together. And then we have some pretty good looking scan lines. I will just go into the feather settings and turn the feathering up for the height to about three, just so they're not too sharp. And then I want to blend these scan lines back onto my image. So down here where it says blending mode, I'm going to set this to color dodge. Now it's time to start adding some distortion to this image and really tearing it up a bit. And I'm going to do that with the turbulent displace effect. And if I go over to the effect in the effect controls, I'm going to set the displacement from turbulent to horizontal displacement. So we're only moving pixels left or right. And where it says complexity, I'm going to turn this up from one to seven. And now this is beginning to look a bit more like TV distortion to me. And I might turn up the amount of displacement a bit more as well. Now, the other thing is this is all looking a little bit too sharp for me. So to soften it out a bit, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. And for this, I'm going to check repeat edge pixels. And I'm just going to turn up the blurriness just one at a time until I see something that's just soft enough. I don't want it to be too soft. Probably about three is right. And the other type of distortion I want to do to this image is to skew it so that it's not perfectly straight. And for that, I'm going to add the transform effect. And down here where it says skew, I'm just going to turn this up. And that's left some black pixels behind. So I'm just going to close these up by turning off uniform scale and then scaling up the height until it fills the frame again. And you can see with the scan lines and the noise effect, we've kind of washed this image out a bit. I'm going to turn the contrast up a bit more by going to my Lumetri color panel and just turning the contrast all the way up. And now we're pretty much done with distorting the image, although you could continue to play around with that. But the last effect that I want to add here is where we have the cut point, I want this image to be pushed up out of frame and the next image to replace it. And I'm going to do that by adding a push transition to the edit point. Now for this transition, I want it to be really short. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to change its transition to six frames. And with the transition selected, I'm going to go over to the effect controls panel and I'm going to make sure that the transition is moving south to north. So the image is being pushed up out of frame. I'm going to set the alignment to center at cut. And the other thing I want to add here is I want to add a little bit of a border between the two images when they transition. So I'll set this to about 50 pixels. And now that we have that push transition in our timeline, I'm just going to move my adjustment layer so that it starts where the transition starts. And I'll also cut off this excess part of the adjustment layer here. And now I'll just render this out. And now that you've done the hard work of creating the first one, you can easily just duplicate this across your timeline. And of course, if you are going to use this in any other projects, it's a good idea to select that adjustment layer and create a preset from all of these effects here. And that is how we create a channel flipping transition inside of Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.